Fire away for these two guys. For either one of you, what's it like to be at this point? You know, there's been a lot of hype in the preseason and to be a few days away from the opener. What's it feel like? Do you feel like you're ready? Let me take it. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think this. Uh, I think the team. Uh, it's a very old team. There's a lot of. Uh, there's a, not a lot of youth on it. It's a lot of leadership. A lot of older guys. So I think um, everyone knows how to prepare for a season. Everyone knows how to. Uh, how to just take on that just eagerness of that that first weekend. So I think uh, everyone's pretty much ready um, to address the the rankings and stuff. Um, it's never really been a thing for. For guys in the locker room, uh, we all know what we got ourselves into when we came to Louisville baseball. And uh, part of being a uh, part of this team and part of this culture is uh, having those high rankings and having to deal with uh, the expectations of it. So, I mean, I think we're all ready for it and we're just uh, excited to get the season started. Do you all feel like this is uh, your best team since you've been around? <coughs> you uh, yeah, honestly, I, since my first year here, now starting my second, I think last year we had a great team, a lot of leadership as well like this year, but uh, we've come in with a lot of freshmen that have some good potential to fill in some of the spots that we missed and a lot of guys that maybe didn't have as big a roles last year. They can obviously come in, they play a little bit, they know the system, so they know what they're going to play as, what their role is going to be potentially. So I feel like we just need to play our best, you know, not worry about we're the number two team in the nation. Obviously, it's a great accomplishment for us and for the past players, but, you know, a number two ranking really means nothing to us until we're in uh, Omaha, standing on the field with the national t uh, national championship trophy. Um, I guess since I've been here for just an extra year, um, through all the teams I've been on, uh, it's um, I mean you could take the 2013 team and play a 2014 team, and God knows what the what the split would be. But um, I think for the three teams I've been, I think this team has the best chemistry. Of all of them, I think uh, the guys really mesh well. And we all complement each other really well, and um, I think it's just a good testament to the coaches and uh, and to us guys just being able to uh, just open up to one another and just become friends just quick like that. Because uh, every year there's a new bunch of 13 coming in that we have to introduce ourselves to and uh, get acquainted with. Because if, uh, if there's bad blood on the team, then it's just gonna it's gonna go show on the field, and um, you're just not gonna see good results. Zach, has your role with this pitching staff changed at all from last year to this year? Is it still going to be similar to what you know your closer role last year? Uh, it's going to be similar. I'm uh, just going to be a closer this year. Um, excited. I uh, think uh, it's really cool for uh, both me and my family to uh, just have Nick and then me uh, kind of go straight into that um, closer role and just take his place. So I'm excited for it. And uh, I mean, I love my role on this team and uh, wouldn't, wouldn't change it. What do you, what, what's your top speed right now? Uh, right now, um, I think I was, I mean, God knows, I think I was not, like 98 uh, last weekend, but I couldn't tell you what it's going to be. It uh, could be all over the place next week, and who knows. Would you be triple digits here saying like your brother, maybe, possibly? Uh, like I said, who knows? I mean, we can only hope so, but if uh, that doesn't happen, the main uh, purpose for me is to get outs and close the game out. So if uh, triple digits comes, it's a bonus, but um, I'm out there to finish the game for my team and get the win. For Zach, if, if you could grant one thing to this team, either on the field or off the field, what, what would you what would you say? If I could give this team this to make a make a run this year, um, if I could give this team one extra thing, I love this team. I'm I'm being honest. I think this is this is, in my opinion, this is a perfect. I'm not saying we're a perfect team, but from the inside out, I think we are. We have everything that we need to accomplish our goal of a national championship, and the only team that's going to beat us this year is ourselves. And um, I wouldn't change anything. I'm excited for the season. For Brendan, in, in what ways does this team show you that they're ready to make that kind of run? Uh, it shows me just in our preparation. You know, a lot of the freshmen come in with the expectation that you know they think they're going to play, or maybe they don't think they're going to play. Uh, but you know, as the time comes, they'll see themselves. You know, getting better, getting stronger, getting faster, realizing the speed of the, go of the college game now. It's a lot faster than college play or high school play, obviously. But, uh, you know, it's just a lot different mentality. You know, playing three games in a row on a weekend, traveling, flying, staying in a hotel, it's a lot different. <coughs> so you just have to adapt to that mentality, stay focused for those three days that are real long, tiring, but just push through and prepare yourself each week to play your best and be your best. 
And then when uh, Connor decided to come back, was your first thought how loaded you're going to be as a team or what went wrong? Obviously, yeah, to have a guy like Kyle back, it sets the mentality on Friday night that we're going to come at you with our best. We're going to give you our all with the, with the number one guy, first rounder, obviously, last year. But this year, I think he's come back a little more hungry. You know, Obviously, things didn't go his way with uh, the Dodgers. But hey, that worked out the best for us and the best for him. He gets to come back, finish his degree, you know, graduate, be with all his buddies that he started to, started his run with. But it's just, it's fun to have him back. He's he's a great guy in the locker room, great guy in the field. He teaches the young guys a lot. So I love him, love does him being it, back. Does it affect your approach or your role? Not at all. Saturday? Not at all. Um, you know, there were there were some thoughts, you know, maybe I will start Friday nights, but it, it has no effect on me. I go out there every day to try and help my team win and to go towards our ultimate goal of winning national championship. Brandon, how did, how did you approach this offseason, knowing that you're the Saturday starter, but you're also going to be in the starting lineup pretty much every day? Is that anything different for you or not? Um, maybe last year it was a little different, you know, because I didn't know what my role would be, obviously, as a freshman. A lot of them starting the bullpen because we had three three guys that performed well the year before with Funk, Josh, and Kitty. So that was our, that was our set weekend rotation to start. But then, you know, uh, Anthony, he uh, he lost himself for a little bit, but he started to find himself later in the year. But you know, coming into the Saturday role, it's just doing what I had to do, going out there every day and pitching well. For Zach, when you think of the season that Brennan had last year, um, what comes to mind? Um, I'm, I was told not to say the word "suck," so I'll refrain from it. But uh, <laughs> I think. Still said it. <laughs> I just think to myself, um, I was going to say just, man, I'm, I suck my freshman year compared to this kid. But uh, I think just all I could really say is, <laughs> sorry, all I could really say is it was, um, it was a joy to watch. I think, uh, I think anyone will tell you just the, just the maturity of a guy that, um, that just came in from, I mean, from high school baseball. To bring that to college baseball was uh, something fun to watch. And... Um, I think uh, Brendan grew a lot from his, uh, not even on the field, but off the field, Brendan grew a lot. I think that was pretty cool to watch, too. I think uh, he'll tell you that um, when he first got here, there was a lot of, uh, lot of hype around him because of how well he did in high school. And uh, he uh, really threw that, he threw that the door. And I think once he did that, I mean, the kid, I mean, he just shined. He was, uh, he was our Saturday guy. He just blew it by kids. And then, I mean, you just got a testament to his, his hitting just his way to just control the plate and his discipline is um, something that I haven't seen from a lot of kids, whether it's in the Cape Cod League or playing with um, USA. I mean, it's really it's something cool to watch. Brendan, where, where's the big even keel in? Or how, how do you not get yourself too high, too low, different things in games on the mound? How do you, how do you where did the demeanor come from? Uh, really, I think it's just how I take life. You know, you can't stress over things. Like, obviously in school, you know, there's going to be some classes that, no matter how hard you try, you may not get the grades that you want, so you can't let that bring you down and say, oh, man, I, I'm not going to pass this class, you know. You just have to go in with the mentality that no matter what, I'm going to give it my all, honestly, and just not worry about things. That's, that's just how I go about life. If something's bothering me, I kind of just let it low until I need to, I guess, figure it out with myself and just talk it, talk it out. For both of you guys, what may be one thing – this team needs to improve on to get to where you want to be at the end of the year? Mm, I guess maybe the consistency. I think um, not getting too high on ourselves, not getting too low on ourselves, like Brendan said, just uh, just taking that approach of just being even keel. I think uh, last year when we uh, we went to that Virginia series. We played our uh, and we went out of it. We played our best baseball there, and uh, I think we really started to get a big high. And kind of maybe brought us down to a low going into um, going into the end of our season, and it wasn't a low for us. It was just we weren't playing our top baseball, and uh, just finding that consistency to bring that that top tier baseball every weekend, regardless of who you're playing, whether it's um, a mid-major school or, I mean, you playing maybe you play Florida the first weekend in Omaha. I mean, you gotta it has to be the same team every weekend. You can't bring a different face to to the game.
The after, more, uh, after such a strong regular season, what can you guys take away from, obviously you came up short in the ACC and in the NCAA, as you would hope, what do you take away from that experience heading into 2016? I personally take uh, just that, you know, no matter what you do, you kind of just have to put it past you. We won, we set the record for the most wins in the ACC, but, you know, we, we couldn't come up in the clutch when we needed, I guess. So I think we just need to stay a little more focused. And, you know, as towards the end of the season, you're obviously tired, you're worn down, but you need to mentally prepare yourself and physically prepare yourself for that just all-out duel that you're going to have for those next three to four weeks of just constant baseball, constant mental games with fighting with the pitcher, fighting with the hitters that are going to you're going to face, and obviously the coaches in the other dugout too that are going to try and uh, pull a couple trick plays, I guess, just try and sneak things by you. All right. Thank you. Those are good. Corey and Nick next.